Why, hello, and welcome back to another taste test video. Today, we are testing almond milk. Almond milk? The milk of almonds. And uh, we're doing this for a very special reason. It is because I tire of water. The tofu of the beverage world. Yes. <laughs> I am pre-diabetic now, so I'm trying to find a healthy alternative to the lovely smoothies and fruit juices I far preferred to have with my meals. Yeah, I mean, fruit juices, they're marketed as being healthy, but honestly, they're just as bad as soda. Let me feel good about myself for five <laughs> minutes, please. Well, it depends if you buy, like, the, or, you know, the, no. the ones that are actually... <laughs> so anyway... Almond milk is probably my second favorite type of milk, even though I think it's the worst one for the environment, honestly, from what I've heard. It uses a ton of water. Yeah, well... What can you do? So most of these are things I can actually drink. Me being Elaine, this being Jeremy. What's up? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. For the last handful of streams that I've done, um, I've forgotten to introduce the people I was playing with until like midway through the stream. So It's okay. Except for a few have too much sugar or more sugar. So I could probably only have it in small amounts. And we'll go through that as we, yeah. we progress. So let's start over farthest from me with the organics vanilla almond i believe it's unsweetened so my hopes are not high is it unsweetened yeah all of them should basically be unsweetened it says at the top where your fingies were in the pink strip mm. smells like sadness <laughs> this tastes bad it tastes like skim milk that was trying to be something more than skim milk. It tastes like skim milk with a little bit of vanilla. It tastes worse than skim milk, though. Sorry, everyone. The The thing about almond milk is it always has like this woody flavor to it. That's the almond skin, I yeah. think. The almond skin. The almond skin. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't great, but also not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Could have been worse, yeah. But definitely tasted surprisingly like skin milk with like a woody, woody aftertaste. I could probably drink it with like, or eat, have it with like cereal. Yeah, because the cereal sweetens its honey. Yeah. the We're now going to be moving on to the original almond milk. So this is the same brand, organic, but with no, no flavor. flavor. So... This is just worse. This is literally just like almond skin, but liquefied. Yeah, it tastes it tastes the same as the first one, except without the little bit of vanilla, which was the one little bit of saving grace to the first one. It also has like a weird, like I've been sitting in cardboard aftertaste. Well, like it, it tastes like the container. Cardboard. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, that's the almonds. I think the almonds have that like cardboard flavor to them. Almonds have cardboard flavor now? Yeah. I did not know that almonds had cardboard flavor. It's like the, the woodiness that I'm talking about. It's kind of that cardboard flavor. No, that's that's more earthy, man. You know what? What is cardboard made out of? <laughs> Lumps of wood. Yeah, it's made out of paper, which is made out of trees, and trees are made of wood. <laughs> okay. Guess what? Cardboard is woody. <laughs> okay, Jer. What's this one? This is the Blue Diamond Almond Original. No, it's Almond Breeze, made with Blue Diamond Almonds. Blue Diamond Almonds, Almond Breeze, whatever. It's still the Blue Diamond Diamond it, Almond which, brand. Which one is it, though? Is this Original. Oh, it's the original and sweetened? Original. Oh, God. Okay. It looks like slightly gray milk. I like the Organics brand better. This one, you get almost like the texture of the almond. Like, they didn't just grind it down perfectly, and you get like that little residual like almond dust skin. It's like pulpy. Not pulpy, like not like orange juice pulpy though. It's just like a little bit of. What is, what is it called when wood is mashed up and it gets put into water? What's it called? Tree mash. No, it's called wood pulp. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Don't feel like this, man. You got burned twice in back-to-back -back drinks. Why you gotta feel like this, man? <laughs> So, I mean, that I think that's just, I think that's an inferior version of the Organics brand original. Yeah, the Organics was definitely smoother. And I feel like this one, you got more of the carton taste, too. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. But, um, that's because you're just so enthused to be trying almond milk with me. It's because it doesn't have any sugar in it. 
It's support. You're supporting <laughs> me in my my <laughs> endeavors to be healthy. Exactly. It's the exact opposite of the um, the Calypso taste test, where it was nothing but sugar. Yeah, where I obviously couldn't get involved because you know pre diabetic, yeah. bad. Lakota's theory is that the Trader Joe's video is what set me off, man. Yeah. I think this is their chocolate version. This is the yeah. This is the almond breeze unsweetened chocolate. Um, I have a little bit higher hopes for chocolate because chocolate tends to cover um, like gross tastes a little bit better than other yeah. flavors. Yeah, yeah. So this looks like a very watered down chocolate milk. Like if you yeah. took like chocolate milk and you're like, I don't have that much left, and I want a full glass and put like actual real milk in it, that's what you'd get. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, chocolate was the the flavor I eventually ended up going to with Soylent because it, it kind of covered up everything. And then I got really used to Soylent in general and I could pretty much drink any flavor, but it smells like weak chocolate milk too. Let's, let's see what this is like. Oh, that's not good. That's a shame. Oh, that tastes like, like diet chocolate, but like somehow watered down and made plasticky. Yeah, it's better than this one. Oh, no. Not better than this one. That was gross. Not better than this one. Oh, I had such high hope for you, and you just taste like plastic. I get to try the sweetened one now. Yeah. How much better is it? That one looks like actual chocolate milk, like not watered down chocolate milk. It looks like like Nesquik or Yoohoo or something. Tell me how it is, man. All that sugar. That's good. I could drink that. So it actually tastes like chocolate? Like a liquid brownie? It actually tastes like a liquid brownie. Does it really, or are you just no, pulling my leg? No, it's pretty good. Oh, he's going for more, so it must be pretty good. It actually is pretty good. Because he's a you know, proponent of real milk, as in from a cow. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how this compares to... How does this compare to, like, actual milk? Well, it doesn't have as many carbs, or I think as much fat, or as much sugar. 19 grams of carbs, 18 grams of sugar. This particular one, probably because it's actual, like, sweetened chocolate. Yeah. But the other ones, sorry, that was slightly misleading, folks. So this one's pretty good. He's getting more. You can have that. That's my gift, me to you. Producer Panda. Thank you. Give you a gift. Now we're going to move on to Trader the Joe's. Unsweetened original Trader Joe's organic almond beverage. This one looks exactly like actual milk. I like how they don't call it almond milk, though. They call it almond beverage. Yeah, they do that with their drinks. It's kind of interesting. And I'm kind of nervous because Trader Joe's hasn't been kind to us lately. That's Same. not good. It's mm. yeah, that's bad. Oh my god, it's like taste it, like like literally watery cardboard. Yeah. Oh my bad. god. The mm. the one thing I will give them is they are being more less deceptive in their advertising by calling it almond beverage instead of <laughs> almond milk because it tastes watery. You cannot milk an almond. <laughs> you cannot milk an almond. It is not a mammal. <laughs> that's a thing yes oh. you ever see that scene in uh was it meet the parents oh gosh i haven't seen that movie in a long time it's like i'm a mammal can you milk me <laughs> robert de niro to ben stiller i think my soul died a little bit right there so this is one of the ones that actually has sugar but not a ton this it- is blueberry lavender so a flavor that i normally don't like and a flavor that's not normally a flavor. It is normally a smell. Yeah. So mm, we're going to see. It smells see, like a delightful candle. See how that works out. Um, so like this one has, I think, nine grams of sugar for serving. Would you mind reading it to the people? So this is, if you're pre-diabetic like me, something you can only have nine in small grams amounts. Of carbs, seven grams of sugar. Yeah. Small amounts. It looks like rice milk, like yellow rice yeah, milk. It, it is not attractive. attractive. At all. How did they get this color? You have blueberries and lavender, and you wind up with like clear, icky rice milk, yellow mucus thing. If you like blueberries, I think you could like this, but its only saving grace is the blueberry flavor, which I don't like. So it's very sweet. Like after not having had much sugar in my diet for so long, I do taste like the sugar, like very, I don't like it. very on point. It does smell really good. Out of all the milks we've had, I think this one smells the best. But I'm really only getting the blueberry flavor. I'm not really getting the lavender from it. Yeah, I'm not really getting the lavender. But it does have a fairly strong blueberry flavor. So if you like blueberries, this is the way to go. And it more of like the sweet blueberry than like a sour or yeah. tart blueberry. Definitely. 
The so yeah, if you do like blueberries, I think that would be a, a decent one for you for not a lot of sugar. But again, if you're pre-diabetic, small amounts. Yeah. Have it with something else. Um, the last one on our list is also Trader Joe's non-dairy almond beverage vanilla unsweetened. This is the only one from the refrigerated section of the market. Let's let's try it. Tastes looks like milk. It's okay. You know what this tastes like? Well, you know what all these taste like? Like if you had a cow farm, right? And they were like the milk cows. Oh. And you gave your cow almonds for some reason. And it was sad <laughs> because it wanted grass and you gave it almonds. And then it cried. These it's, are it's <laughs> tears. <laughs> it's it's almondy tears. It's sad, sad, cold tears it's, of sorrow. It's sad, salty, <laughs> nutty tears. <laughs> You want some cold nut tears? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, at least I could drink this, but I think, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I think the colder beverage, like you get less of the almond flavor. Yeah. Like I think everything's more d- distinct when it's not refrigerated. Yeah. So if you want, don't want to taste the awfulness that is the majority of these beverages, put it in the fridge before you have it. We just had these like sitting in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> we, we Except for the them. one that was from the refrigerator. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these came out of the closet today to come to this video. Yeah. That's what yeah, happened. 2022. Um, yeah. Well, so. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? It's definitely need to I mean, have the your chocolate one is definitely the best one. Your, your stuff refrigerated. Yeah. Um, if we had to do it for just the unsweetened ones, which one was your favorite? Probably this one. Yeah, I think I'd go there too. And I assume, I'm going to believe you, obviously I didn't try it, that the one with the sugar for the chocolate yes. is, is that the That one was actually like, I could actually drink it. Like I could have a glass of it. The other one I did like, I think the blueberry lavender was interesting, even if I can't have much of it. Like in small doses with certain types of meals, it might be nice, like with pancakes or something. I used to drink, I used to drink almond milk fairly regularly back when I was like trying to diet and stuff. And mm-hmm. I would get the one that was sweetened with the honey. And that one was pretty good. I don't think it was blue diamond. I can't remember. But um, that one was not bad. But it was always the sweetened one. The unsweetened ones were yeah. bad. I think the other big one on the market was Almond Joy was a big one for a while. I don't know. If almond still- Joy, like the candy? I thought maybe, I don't know. Almond Joy and Mounds. They're candy. No, I know they're candy, Fish but I think there's, leave me alone. I think there's <laughs> oh, you a. You finish any of these. No, I finished all of them, but that one <laughs> it was just really bad. <laughs> and um, anyway, as I was saying, I think there was actually an almond milk by the same name, but I don't know. So like out of this video, best one was the chocolate with sugar for obvious reasons. And then the vanilla organics, which might. Yep. I think it was trying to show best. up in another video. Yeah, it very at well some point. Might. Well, I mean, this one should technically, but we'll give it this one because it's unsweetened. We'll we'll do both. Yeah, we'll do both. We we won't discriminate. But <clears throat> which one do you think was the worst? Uh, this one probably. That was pretty bad. I was also very. I think because I expected more of the chocolate, it's worse because like I had higher hopes. It could have been. It could have been better. I don't think it was the worst. I think it was this one. Then this one were the worst. We're a little torn on which one was the yeah. worst, but I definitely I feel like this one's the yeah. worst. But sad, sad cow tears. Yeah, Trader Joe's not coming through on that one. But the other ones were okay. I mean, this one was the better version of the vanilla, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. I because cool Almond Breeze is a big, big company. You see it everywhere. You think, hey, that must be the best one. It's expensive. Yeah, it is the more expensive. It's got that blue diamond name. Yes. Those expensive nuts. You want some expensive nuts, Jer? No. Made into milk or beverage? I used to get a lot of nuts from CVS, the CVS brand nuts, because <laughs> I used to work there. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. Yes. But I guess I haven't found a new beverage yet to replace the tofu over the beverage. Well, you're going to be going through all the unsweetened ones here. Well, I mean, like, like something I would keep buying yeah. and, and enjoying. I feel like you can't enjoy things unless they have sugar. You yeah. didn't hear that, people, but it's, it's accurate. It's accurate. Well, let us know down below in the comments if you have an unsweetened almond beverage that you think might be worth trying, that I might like more than what we tried here today. Yeah. Let us know what you think about these beverages if you've ever tried any of them. Smash that like button until it's blue. Subscribe. Ring that bell. Now we'll say farewell. See you all in the next one. Bye, guys.
Hey, hey, are you listening? Hey, this is Billy West. I knew you'd recognize my voice, but sometimes you can't because you're watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Now, I would love it being the professor if you'd comment, like, and subscribe. You hear that? He knows what he's talking about because he's a smart old bastard. Yeah. All right. Now, get with it. Thank you.